see how low I got? Dude, you got low A. <laughs> Super low. We are back, everybody. Super excited to be doing this remake of Valentino Khan's Deep Down Low. As you guys already know, the download will be in the description below for the preset and the rack. Totally free for you guys. So Always. go grab that right now if you want. If you're in another DAW, don't worry. We'll explain how to make it in another DAW because the processing is really simple on this. Really happy to do this sound. Yeah, right? man. This is, this is a classic. Yeah. And if you guys want the project file, uh, we'll go over uh, how to get that a little bit later. Um, but yeah, for now, uh, why did we do this? Why did we do this song, Parker? Dude, we're coming out with a house pack. Yeah, a base house a pack. A major house pack. A hybrid house. Whatever the hell you call house. I don't care. It's yeah. house. Suck it. <laughs> Show them Suck the pack, it. bro. Yeah, Show them dude, what's up, check dude. It out. Boom. We got new intros. We got, dang, there it is. Got In your house. Packs. Pre sale is out now. Uh, 150 presets if you pre-sale. It's, it's going to be released uh, September 4th, so you have up until September 4th to get the pre-sale for the 50 bonus serum presets that we are including in there. Go check out the demo track for Run That. That'll all be in the download description below. Run That was created entirely using all in your house uh, samples and presets. It's a massive hit, guys. Oh, God, it's the, a smasher. The, the track is insanity. Yeah, and a lot of great production stuff. We did a lot of uh, processing stuff, so really, really great to really learn from. But yeah, go get that right now if you guys want to check that out. Uh, but I think uh, if you guys are new here, just make sure you guys subscribe. If you've been subscribed, thank you. Hit the like button. We're going for likes, man. Yeah, we're, we're about to hit 20K. We're almost at 20K in the subs, which is crazy. You guys are insane. The subs have been going up like nuts. Finally yeah. starting to get a little bit of Traction, traction subscription and also to make sure you guys hit that stupid bell or whatever yeah so you can get notified so you can get notified so i think uh that's pretty good i'm gonna go over some of the elements of the drops so you guys get some knowledge it's pretty simple as far as the drums the samples which i will go over uh how you can get these these drum samples that we made for this uh they sound a little something like this just a nice kick and clap kind of in the in the drop let's go ahead and include the sub in there what do you say yeah, Parks? let's do it Love that sound though. Clicky. Super simple. This right here. Boots and pants and boots and pants and boots. Just super basic. I think the, the simplicity of this, as you can see, the kick is hitting pretty much four on the floor and then a little bit of break right there with the perk. Really, really great simplicity. And I think uh, a little fun fact about this song. At the time, now it's different, but at the time, this was the loudest song in history, which was minus four yeah and that was really loud yeah everybody was struggling to get to minus six and valentino khan's like minus four what's up yeah and i think the reason why it's able to be so loud is because there's there's not a ton of elements in this drop totally you know what i mean it's like he's just really able to push everything super hard which we try to do our best to emulate as you can see here what we do remakes on this channel as well as challenge videos and drops and tutorials and all the other stuff all day all day long okay so the sound that we are making i think you guys already can guess is we're going to be making this sound right here sounds like this really nasty so let's go ahead and get into it. We'll get into the, some of the processing and some of the techniques to make this. I have an initialized patch already set up, ready to go. I am prepared because I don't have any time. Let's go. Let's hear what it sounds like initiated. All right, with that, let's go ahead and get into it. So serum patch initiated, initialized, whatever you want to call it. Bam, here it, it is. is. Let's do it. Okay, first things first, we're gonna start with oscillator A. Okay, oscillator A is going to be digital, and I think it's gonna be FFT add seconds. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go ahead and add this one. I like these wavetables a lot. They're like kind of FM wavetables. 
uh, essentially you can kind of go through them. That's essentially what if you were to FM assign into it, it would pretty much look like that, I believe. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and add that wavetable. We're gonna go with the octaves gonna be set to zero. So all that stock, uh, we're not gonna have to mess with any of this except for the random. We're gonna wanna turn it all the way down. Wavetable position is going to start at uh, one. So put it to one, it's at one, good. And then level, we're going to turn all the way down. And for the warp, we're gonna do FM from B, which we're gonna talk about in just a second. So we don't have any audio yet, so let's go ahead and make our first LFO. It's gonna be kind of an interesting shape. It's pretty basic, but also really kind of weird at the same time. So I'm gonna add another anchor point, and I'm gonna kind of pull it down to like halfway right there, and then I'm gonna kind of circle that up right there. I don't know what type of shape that is that you would call. Yeah, sorry, move this to like maybe the middle, middle, middle of the second point is what we're looking for. This one looks good, yeah, okay. And we're going to set this to envelope. And what we're going to do here is to get the correct LFO, you could leave it on um, BPM if you want. But for us, we're going to go ahead and take off BPM and make sure it's set to anchor. And then you're going to want to set this to 2.0, I believe. That's going to be set to 2.0. And we're going to, it's going to already have the modulation set up to have it go between 2.0 and, I'm sorry, wait, where does it start at? It starts at, I'm sorry, 3.4 is where you want it. I messed that up. So let's go ahead uh, and go ahead and put the LFO on the level and let's hear what this sounds like. Just a very subby sound right now, nothing crazy. Let's go ahead and add it on the wavetable position. And for the wavetable, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this down to 23 is the number. See if we can get some more, now we'll get a little bit more uh, harmonics. There you go, now you can hear it. And what's happening is instead of doing like BPM, which you could do if you wanted to, um, we're doing it in rates, which is uh, the speed of the LFO. So it's not like perfectly on, essentially on the grid. It's kind of a swing. Yeah, a little bit of a swing to it. So, But you have to really dial it in. So the numbers we have that are going back and forth automating here that you can see is 3.4 and I believe 5, which is, yeah, this is yeah. 5 right here. Um, so if you want to automate the rate, just go ahead and do that, which we already have it pre-set up like that, so you guys know. Okay, we're also going to go ahead and put this on the FM knob. And we're going to FM from B. Even though we don't have FM B activated yet, we're going to set this to 45. And I've been finding, watch this. It adds, listen, you hear the difference? Even though nothing's activated. So it still does something. And I think it's because there's just an algorithm where that's just, if that's initiated. Another, another thing that's kind of interesting that you could try is you could just turn on the FM from B knob and turn the FM all the way down. It'll sound, even though it's off, it still has a distinct characteristic to it, which yeah, is kind of weird. Yeah, I noticed that too. Um, so yeah, when we were playing around with this, I was like, wow, it really sounds, you can really FM without anything. I don't know if it's doing like a, a ton of stuff, but it definitely sounds different than if I was to turn this to this LFO all the way down versus to 45. You could hear a slight difference. It's really weird. Anyway, play around with that. Just kind of interesting. So maybe you can find a, you know, New yeah. interesting way of doing things. Feeding air. Yeah, there's no rules, basically. So nothing is always what you think it is. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, um, oh, I'm sorry. Turn the level down. We want the level to 73 is what we're going for. 73. Nice. I'm going to turn the master up just a smidge to like 79. Cool. And now that we got that, let's go ahead and initialize oscillator B. And we're going to do analog. And we're going to do basic shops. And we're going to go ahead and do a sine wave. We're going to set it to plus one on the octave. Uh, all this stuff is going to be stock except for the random. We're going to turn all the way down. You really want to make sure sometimes when you're working with sine waves, because this is also a sine wave, uh, sometimes you can get phasing issues with the random. So be careful of that because it's essentially spitting out two sine waves, which will phase together. That's like the easiest waveform to phase, isn't it? Cause yeah, that's a good, good tip. Okay, so uh, make sure that you guys are, are checking your random when you're doing FM with sine waves and uh, into other sine waves and making sure it doesn't sound phasey. Okay, so that looks pretty good for oscillator B. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and initialize a filter. We're gonna do MG low 12, and I'm gonna set the cutoff to, uh, oh, my bad. Look, go back to oscillator B and make sure the level's all the way down. Okay, so MG low 12, turn the cutoff all the way down and put on LFO one on the cutoff, and we're gonna go ahead and set that to 86. We'll play with some beat in here, beats in here in just a second once we get some volume. 
uh, go ahead and set the uh, B to it because it feels good. And while you're at it, why don't you go ahead and put the noise and sub, even though nothing's on. <laughs> makes uh, you feel better. Makes you feel better. Uh, initialize the sub. We're going to have the sub at zero, and we're going to put LFO1 on the level. Turn the level down. Turn it all the way up. Wow. Nice. Uh, resonance is pretty stock. All this is good. That's looking great. I'm going to go ahead and make sure it's on to mono and legato. And then for portamento, we're going to put it to always. This is the note gliding into another note. And this knob is just going to be set down all the way. I don't know if it does anything, but again, it might feel good. So we're going to do it anyway. Effects, I'm going to go ahead and load up these effects. If you didn't already know, you can uh, save the effect racks uh, in Serum, which is kind of nice and very handy, especially if you are doing YouTube videos like us. Valentino Khan, deep, bam. Up your producer speed. Up your produce speed. Okay, I'm going to turn these off. And real quick, before we get go any further, I just want to let you guys know, again, we uh, do have a house pack coming out. Uh, so if you want to pre-sell, pre-sell is in the download description below. And if you guys want to get uh, all the stuff that's in this project file uh, and more project files that we have, we have a Patreon that we have a YouTube tier where we give away all the project files from our YouTube, uh, some of the drop challenges that Parker and I have done, some of the remakes. It's all there for you guys. It's 10 bucks just for signing up. You get access to like 40 or 50. I don't even know how many it is. It's now. way more than 50 now. It's it's insane how many we have in there. So you guys can go in there and just start downloading. And not to mention like the the amount of presets and samples that are in there just for 10 bucks is insane. Super I, organized for you too. Yeah, and I recommend just staying uh, staying uh you know, maybe signing up for the uh mystery loot which is like 15 bucks where we send you like a bunch of random samples. A lot of that stuff actually it wasn't supposed to be, but a lot of that stuff is like exclusive. We haven't even released it yet in the mystery yeah. loot stuff. Um, and you get part of the YouTube tier. And then, of course, we have the VIP, which is where we make exclusive presets just for you. Yeah, um, that's a no-brainer. Yeah, so go check that out on our Patreon. Link will be in the description as per usual. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right back into this. So I have uh, – the first thing I have here is sample and hold. This is kind of creating a little bit of sizzle. Uh, cutoff's going to be all the way up. The filter's going to be miscellaneous, sample and hold right there. Cutoff all the way up, resonance down, drive down, pan at 50, mix all the way up. I'm going to go ahead and skip all the way down to the OTT, which is going to be second from last. But if you guys want to do it right now, go ahead, because I want to hear some 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 drums. Activation. Uh, thresh is at 12.5, race 401. All this is pretty stock. 90, 90, 0. Okay. Still can't hear it. All right. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and add now a tube distortion. Okay. Uh, set it to post, and I'm going to explain that in a second. And then drive all the way up, mix all the way up. And now that it's set to post, I'm going to put LFO on the frequency knob for a low pass filter. And I'm going to shift option or shift windows click so that it's essentially doing what this is doing. And when you set it to post, that means that the distortion, it, the distortion is going to be on the sound, and then it's adding a filter after. Pre would mean the filter is coming first. <laughs> You can really hear it there. Is it going all the way up, Parker? Or yeah. Right? Can you click the, the, the little circle thing on the screen? It's like 40 something. It's like 33. 33. So go ahead and pull this down. Nice. Oh, yeah, so like 30. I think that's pretty right. I'll, I'll double check that later, but yeah, around 30 to 32. Nice. Okay, so next we're going to add a hyperdimension. Rate is going to be at 40, detune at 25, mix at 30 sevs, size at zero, mix at 60. Really hollows it out, kind of makes it a little bit more phasey. Okay, and next we have a uh, delay setting right here. This is going to add a little bit more metallic to it. Uh, go ahead and, and put the setting of the left and right to 3.47. Make sure it's set to link. Feedback is going to be at 40%, and then we're going to go ahead and add the LFO onto that. And I don't know if it's moving or not. It might just be on there. Yeah, I think it's just on. We'll just put it on there just because. I don't know if it's do. It might be set to zero, but let's see if it does anything. I think you have to drop it on the top one. Oh, my bad. Put it on the top. Oh, yeah. I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah, I forgot. Man. kind of cool because you could change the time which can add some different variation but i don't know if it's doing anything but that's what we did initially oh but also we need to make sure that the the mix knob is going to be all the way up actually go ahead and click on the macro because we made a macro on this initially the first one on the, the thing to the right yeah it's all the way up oh, 
Nice, sounding super hollow. Uh, we got the OTT, which we already went over, and then we're going to add another low pass using the EQ. Uh, so don't worry about the left side, but on the right side, make sure you do a uh, low cut right here. Frequency is going to be set to 248, Q at 47, gain at zero. I'm going to add LFO 1 to the frequency knob, right? And that's going to be set to 31. Mm -hmm. 31. Yeah. Did I go over the Q? Q's at 47, gains at 50. Okay, now that that's good, again, if you guys want to get uh, this, uh, all the other presets and stuff that we made for this and that vocal samples and the drums, uh, check out the Patreon. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get into the processing, and this should be pretty simple. So you can follow along if you're in another DAW. It's really kind of easy. We just have a rack set up here with a low cut at 79 hertz. Bam, like so. Just cutting out some of the mud. Then we have an overdrive. Just go ahead and use any sort of overdrive that you have and filter it a little bit. So it's just overdriving essentially uh, 344 and below. Drive at 50, tone at 37, dynamics at 50, dry wet at 35. You can use any sort of saturation or overdrive plugin that you have. Next, we have an OTT. OTT, just some of the mids pulled up. This is pretty stock OTT. Uh, if you don't have OTT, you can download Zypher Records. They do a pretty decent job of it, of OTT, and I set to 100%. Nasty. Just pulling up those mids. You can really hear it start to come together. Now what we have is some uh, interesting EQs here. This is just to shape the sound even more, to sound more like it. Uh, a low cut here again at 90. So when you add OTT, you're going to want to cut the lows out again if you don't want any lows because those are going to be all that trash that you took out. You're bringing some of it back in when you do this. So we cut the lows again, and then we have a real big Q boost here at 211. Okay, you can see it's a very round sort of hump. The Q is set to 41 gain. You guys can do that in any EQ. And then over here at 1.86 kilohertz, uh, 5 dB gain uh, with a little bit less Q at 71.71. That does a lot. We're bringing out the, the elements of the sound that sound like the original. So that's why we're doing EQ like that. Followed by another EQ, which is probably another shaping one. Yeah. So the Q, again, we cut the lows out again at 100 hertz. Uh, Q is at 297 with a bell shape gain at 6.57 and then just raising the top shelf here a shelf EQ of 4 at 825 now it's clipping like a mother so what we're going to do is we're going to add a saturator the saturator is going to kind of soft clip it it's a very like distorted sort of limited sound saturator at 1 dB and soft clip on 100% is pretty stock and then lastly, we have another EQ, and this EQ is, again, just a little bit of shaping the sound. But because we added uh, a lot of extra stuff, we're going to pull some stuff out to shape it a little bit more, just a notch. Uh, again, cutting at 70 uh, on the low. And then here in the like the somewhat of the upper mids, uh, we have 1.60 kilohertz dipped uh, with a Q at 0.71 and gain at 5.7, uh, sorry, 5.33 minus. <laughs> Let's hear how it sounds with the build. Girls up and ass, deep down low. There it is, guys. In your house. Go get it. If you want sounds like this, I guarantee it. You guys will love this pack. The Project Cloud speaks for itself. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for uh, being such a support. We're on the road to 20K. Help us get there if you're not subscribed, if you like our videos. Again, download for totally for free in the description below. We have a contest running on Instagram right now. Yeah. You want to tell big. them about it real quick? Yeah, it's our most recent post. Um, if you guys go in, onto Instagram, like the post, and tag two producer friends, you guys are entered into the contest. Yep. Also, make sure to follow us if you aren't already. Uh, and we're picking 10 people to get the house pack early. early. You're yeah. going to get it early. And that's huge. We've never done that before. For that's free, too. <laughs> super exciting. You'll get all of the bonus serum presets. Um, we're, we're super stoked to do that for you guys, too. Yeah, absolutely. And hopefully soon we got more contests coming, too. A lot of different t style contents. Challenge videos. Uh, we have a debt to pay to you guys with doing an auto-tune video. And, of course, uh, the Fuji opener first drop. 
maybe Mumbai power, but we might have to do a little like thing. On we the always pay our debts, Danny. We always pay our debts. Excellent always pays his debt. Or excellent whatever. Lannisters. <laughs> Game of Thrones. Let's get out of here. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Parker, am I forgetting anything? I think that's it. Let's roll out of here. Let's roll out of here. If you want lessons, check out our website. Subscribe, like, comment, blah, 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 blah. Boom. 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 Boom.